Nearly a third of the business district of Mattaway near Kent is on fire tonight. That blaze started in a hardware store and is spread to other buildings. And I talked to a witness just moments ago. The Weber hardware is completely engulfed. It looks like it's going to be totally demolished. It's on fire. And the flames keep shooting up. They've had them die down a few times, and then they continue to shoot up because of the chemicals inside of the hardware store. The fire last night in the Portage County town of Mattaway, where the first part of the week, people had been battling the flooding Cuyahoga River. The fire destroyed two buildings and damaged five others in the historic center of the town. In a place the size of a village like Manaway loses most of a city block, it's lost most of its downtown. This is what it looked like late last night. 14 fire departments were helping out, 100, 150 firefighters altogether. Still, it took nearly four hours to put the blaze out. By that time, two Manaway landmarks had been reduced to ashes this morning. Fire Chief Frank Lang told me they just couldn't get enough water on the fire. Now, uh, by the time I got set up that we could pump out of the river and get our shuttle working, why, uh, the reservoir was pretty well had it emptied. As the sun rose this morning, smoke was still rising from the rubble of what had been Weber's hardware store. The Crestwood local schools were closed because the village's water supply had been exhausted. Folks will be boiling their water or bringing it in from elsewhere for the next few days until the water supply gets back to normal. It's been kind of a double whammy for Manaway, Jeff, this week. As you mentioned, first the flood, now this major fire, and they don't have enough water. Tom, it sounds like those buildings were of some historical importance in Manaway. Uh, the two buildings that burned go, went back at about 130 years each. They were the landmarks, uh, the, the, the buildings that Manaway was uh, virtually built around. To add to their troubles, the people of Manaway are without water today because firefighters nearly drained the village's 230,000-gallon re reservoir. Folks in Manaway will be talking about the big fire for a long time. It destroyed two Civil War-era landmarks and took with it what folks around here called the heart of their town, Weber's Hardware Store. But folks here in Manaway have a more immediate problem than wondering where they're going to buy hardware now. The big fire left the city's underground water reservoir almost dry. A lot of people, like Katie Baird, had to do without their morning cup of coffee. Was, it, the water in my house was pretty muddy last night, but this morning it seems to be a little clear. The pressure's still down. People around Manaway are being warned to boil their drinking water for at least another few days. Folks like Constance Hammond seem to be taking it all in stride. We'll make out. We're in the country. We're used to coping with things. Really. In a small town down in Portage County, this has been one heck of a trying week. This, the latest blow to strike the community of Manaway, a devastating fire that leveled most of the city block overnight. Firemen say it ignited in the back of the town's hardware store and that it took 150 firefighters from 14 fire departments to snuff it out. Five businesses were damaged or destroyed, and the fight against the flames took so much water that tonight the village is on a water alert. All this in just one week, a week that earlier saw way too much water, flood water, that is, spilling from the Cuyahoga River. Many of Manaway's flooded homes and streets were still drying out when this fire hit last night. Tom, how are the folks there holding up after so much calamity in one week? That's uh, been tough. The state of shock is beginning to wear off now, Ted. A lot of folks here thought of Weber's hardware as the heart of their community. Now it's gone. Folks like Katie Baird to finding the heart is still there. What struck me most of all about the fire when it was happening is the way we all reached out and helped each other. The fire has created another crisis. Folks here can't drink the water for several days because fighting the fire drained the reservoir down to where the water system is loaded with sediment. For the folks who got burned out there, Ted, picking up the pieces will be hard, but it may be easier knowing that just about everybody else there is willing to give them some help. Well, they do have a sense of community spirit over there, don't they? It is permeating through the whole community there, Ted. Okay, Tom. A serious water shortage and the situation is getting to be a crisis. People are being asked to conserve water. Here's the reason. A huge fire that roared through downtown Manaway late last night. Five buildings destroyed. Three firefighters were hurt before it was all over. And they had to drain the town's reservoir to get the flames under control. There is water available, but because there may be sediment in it, about the only thing it's good for is dousing the fire scene. Now, even though the water looks fine, the residents here are still being asked not to use it for the next two or three days. One reason being is that the city wants to fill up the reservoir once again. Donna, is this causing any problems for you? Yes, it's causing a number of problems. How so? Well, you can't get up and wash your face in the morning. You can't do the dirty dishes, and it's, uh, it's rough. 
So, like the rest of Manaway's 1,300 residents, Donna has to rely on outside sources for water. Right. Some is being supplied by the National Guard, and a convenience store is helping out with thousands of gallon jugs. Actually, most of the people we talked with in Manaway today really say they don't see this as a crisis situation, just kind of a big-scale inconvenience, if you will. Dale Doreen. For at least the next few days, then, huh? At least uh, two or three, according to the mayor. We have unlimited supply through the city of Aurora through these tankers you see behind us. Uh, National Guard is providing the tanking system in the city of Aurora the water. Community support was a prime factor in controlling what could have been a major disaster here. Mayor Henninger says residents will have to drink the bottled water for at least three days until a sufficient water supply builds back up in the reservoir and is checked by the EPA. The only thing the water is good for is flushing toilets. And that's why these freshwater tanks brought in by the National Guard are set up for the 1,300 people who live in this tiny village. The village's reservoir is being refilled, but it will take some time, they tell us, before the water is safe enough to drink. This is what caused the water shortage in Manaway last night's half-million-dollar fire, which destroyed several downtown businesses and used up all of the village's water supply. And in Manaway, they are rationing water tonight. Firefighters drained the town's reservoir as they fought that blaze in downtown Manaway last night. Now there's a water ban there. And until the reservoir fills back up, residents will have to carry in water from the outside. Today, they all pulled together in a team effort to conserve water after firefighters from at least a dozen different communities drained their reservoir, battling a major downtown fire last night. Over 150 firefighters responded around 9 last night, but the flames had a hold on this century-old building. When it was over, a hardware store and dance studio were gone. A direct cause still isn't known, but firemen on the scene say the flames were quick to spread. I was down the other end of town. They had just gotten back from a chimney fire. There were several guys on station. I went there, I came in, went up from south into town. The whole back of the store was going at that point. And just for a matter of minutes, it rolled on across the displays areas and on up into the second story in a matter of just a few minutes. Last night's fire had even more serious consequences for the entire community. This is the underground reservoir that Manaway residents depend on for their water supply. The weight of last night's blaze drained this water supply. Most everyone there, though, seems to be taking it all in stride. Compared to the loss that Manaway has suffered, I think the water is an inconvenience, and I think we'll all get through that just fine. The mayor and city workers went out this morning delivering fresh water to a lot of people there, about 800 one-gallon jugs in all. Hard to tell when the tap water will be safe to drink again. The final damage estimate, $1,065,000. Now that's just the buildings involved. It doesn't take into account an additional $40,000 lost in village operations and equipment. Pumps, you know, our pumps ran dry there for one hour up at the reservoir. One has to be replaced, four had to be reserviced. Um, we lost uh, the spring system on our two and a half ton truck when they were loading up that debris when that wall fell forward. Uh, we had to make a path for the um, firefighters and evidently in the course of that, the one side of our truck is tilted now. We had just put springs on that. All in all, it's been a pretty tough year for the village of Manaway. First, they were going to print up t-shirts that said, we survived the winter of 1985. Then they changed those to say, we survived the floods of 1985. Now the slogan, we survived the fire of 85. We've all had a tough winter, but throw in some flooding and then add a fire that destroys much of your downtown, you've got a year most people would just as soon forget. The Cuyahoga River is still higher than normal here. Ducks can swim instead of waddle. But the businesses which got soaked at the end of February are now dried out and back to normal. The fire damage was a little more permanent, however. On March 1st, half a city block went up in flames. That night, Kathy Simons just watched as her 130-year-old landmark building burned to the ground. Today, she took pictures as the crews moved in to start cleaning the rubble. Fire marshal insurance investigators probed the ruins, still looking for a cause. The beauty salon's back in business after being closed for three days, and other businesses are repairing the damage suffered on that night two weeks ago. All of this sounds rather gloomy, but there's a bright note. Kathy's husband has recovered their matching motorcycles from the basement of the building. Everything else may be lost, but the motorcycles are sentimental favorites. You see, Kathy and Rich Simons met when they pulled up alongside one another and discovered their motorcycles match. Nice story. In Manaway, Roger Morris, Eyewitness News. Why don't you guys move up? Story with a happy ending and then some. And for those of you who are wondering, the town of Manaway is determined to have absolutely everything back to normal for their annual potato festival later on this summer. This is not 